Let's -a go. Yo, what is going on, guys? It's me, the Ninja Reviewer, here for me to review Dragon Ball Super Episode 57. Apologies if this review was actually pretty late. Uh, one of the days on Labor Day, I had a really late shift from work, so that was the reason why. But I don't know, I was just feeling like extremely tired, so I did manage to watch the episode. I did. It's just, I was just extremely tired. I was doing other things, it was a bit harder for me. To do the review properly, so and I know my channel seems about dead. That I haven't really done anything in a while, but fear not though. Uh, I am gonna post some stuff up soon. I, I am terribly sorry about that. Um, it'll get there. Don't worry. It's just you know gotta give me time to relax and stuff. Anyways, so getting on topic here. So this episode of Dragon Ball Super, yo man, I gotta say this fight between Goku and Vegeta. Versus Super Saiyan Rose, Black Goku, or just Black, and Zamasu. I gotta say, man, when it comes to this episode, this fight was so fucking awesome. Like, the fight itself was just really cool. We're seeing going from blow from blow, toe to toe, classic Dragon Ball Z style fight. And I love the fight. Yeah, sure, some of the animation looked a little bit eh here and there. Like when they did some of the fight, but it wasn't like that completely. The fight itself was still very clean. It was fresh. It was very well done. And when it comes to that, though, seeing the tag team between these two, they seem to think alike. But the thing is, though, it's like they're de well, they're definitely different people, but they have the same goal. Like they want to exterminate humans as a whole, and them working together as a team. Like we're actually seeing, you know, Goku going all his best with Super Saiyan Blue. Same with Vegeta, but, you know, unfortunately, you know, it, it, it just seems like, you know, they're pretty much outmatched. And, you know, while they were getting their... Well, pretty much it's a very simple episode. While they're getting their ass kicked, pretty much, during the fight, uh, we do see that their last resort was to actually save them from being killed off. We see Mai pretty much bring out, you know, the time capsule with the machine, with the time machine. And where that happens is when she uses that... She puts Trunks, Vegeta, and Goku back in the time machine because she figures, all right, no, no, I'm sorry, no, no, it's not that. It's, um, I'm sorry, well, Yajirobe, <laughs> which is kind of funny, Yajirobe actually drags the, the, the them uh, by their feet. Because, of course, as we all know, Yajirobe can't fly, which is uh, pretty obvious. So Yajirobe, he can't fly. So the problem is that he has to drag them onto the feet. But well, meanwhile, though, when it happens, he brings the Mai to actually bring the, uh, the time capsule and with the time capsule for them to actually send them back and trunks was like no don't do this come on my like my like he you can tell how desperate trunks was not to see my actually go because he's afraid that she's gonna die off like she did back uh but that again doesn't matter because no no here's the thing i do apologize from the last week's episode when i said about you know going to a different time where my didn't die no, what happens is, is that Mai really didn't die after all. In fact, I completely forgot, I apologize, I reread, I mixed it all up. What really happened was Mai really didn't die. Like, we all thought Black might have taken her, taken her out for good. But no, I don't know how and when. I don't remember the last episode, I think they explained it, on how Mai actually survived and shit. I think it was, yeah, I, I believe so, yeah. I just put it down in the comment section below if you remember, because I don't remember exactly how it happened. My mind's a little bit right now. So I really do not remember my best right now with that last episode. But anyways, though, they did explain it. Yes, my really did survive instead of, you know, her dying. And, well, again, that, a little apology out of the way, though. We see that Trunks was very desperate because he knows, like, oh, shit, what if, die, what if my really dies for real? And I'm not there to save her. And, you know, he's going to feel a lot of regret. So what happens is, is that, you know, they finally go back. They collapse on the ground and shit. And then pretty much Bulma, pretty much, and Trunks take them to the care. Meanwhile, what actually happens next is that, um, Gar Garamasu, you know, the sensei of this current Zamasu. Because remember, that Zamasu is in the future. 
pretty much. I know that was a bad reputation of me singing that song. But anyways, so that was the future Zamasu that we saw back then. And Zamasu was like, shit, they're actually getting away. And what happened is, is while they were actually about to send them off away, like, Mai uses that fucking cannon thing to actually block it off. So I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm really hoping Black does not find out. And Black and Zamasu were like, well, they're going to have to come back somehow. Otherwise, this world is going to be, you know, become our empire, our ultimate rule and shit like that. And damn, man, I got to say, Black as a villain, he is becoming really awesome. Like, I am loving his determination to get rid of all human beings. Like, we still need to know... What, who, who, what, and why are created black, and why he wants to exterminate every single human being and create this new empire where there's no humans whatsoever, no godlike figures. Because we can see that he has godlike powers. Like, you know, the Super Saiyan Rose thing is sort of similar to Super Saiyan Blue, but on a much more higher scale of God, of God Super Saiyan. So, that's basically what it was. And because of that, he wants to create a world with that where nobody can die. No, no weak humans whatsoever. So anyways, this current Zamasu, which we see now in last present time, we see that he's with Garamasu. And Garamasu's watching a thing called GodTube or KamiTube or... Excuse me. Where you want to call it from Japanese, Kami, to English, God. He's watching GodTube. And get this. He says he wants to become... Well, it was a joke, but I was like, what? Is there such so is I guess in God to is as equivalent to our world YouTube pretty much <laughs> Which I actually do find actually kind of funny where he was like, you know, I want to become a God tuber And I'm like well, if you want to reach God tuber levels good luck There might be some regulations you're gonna have to follow there buddy in order to actually do it Yeah, you know about that new policy. Yeah, you better look into that. So basically yeah um, meanwhile, though, which I thought was actually pretty funny, he's seen the match between Goku and Hit. And Zamasu's like, he's using that same kind of key again. Like, you know, why is this Goku guy, like, so good? I, I just, I just need to know. Like, so, it's like, I just don't get why a human like him is having this godlike key abilities and shit. And he's still jealous. He's still pissed off. Then, he sees in the background the prize, which was the Super Dragon Balls. And Zamasu's like, hmm. Then Tsumasu got an idea. A really, really awful idea. That's right. Tsumasu wants the Super Dragon Balls to make any wish he wants. And we see at the very end, Tsumasu is a fucking savage. We see Tsumasu. He goes to the, uh, that, um, that planet. I forget what the hell it was. The one dude... The one know all dude, I for, I forget his name. The one that knows all and shit like that. The one who actually told him like where you can find the Super Dragon Balls, like the radar, like how to build it. You know that 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 dude. Um, he goes there and then you see his guards trying to defend. It's like, who are you? How'd you get in here? And he's a fucking slot. He's like freaking beating the shit out of you guys. He's like, yo, you know everything. Tell me where the fuck are those Super Dragon Balls right now? I ain't playing no games, bro. I ain't playing no games. Like, he ain't point. It's like a, a like a robber going like, what fuck are those things? Shoot down, I won't shoot nobody, man. Like, man, he got, this dude was like a fucking serial killer. Like, this dude was insane. God damn. So, yeah, the way they left it off on that was actually a really awesome, uh, awesome end note. Awesome cliffhanger right there. I'm like, oh, shit. This dude means business. And I gotta say, the fight in this episode made this episode a clean 5 out of 5. Definitely... The fight was really good. The premise, the the pacing of the storyline got a lot more better. We see now that we're going back to the future and now back to the past. Not to play some shitty games it's like ass yes, or with Samurai Jack. What? Not that past, but where we're back now to present time. And then, you know, we get this side thing and I'm like, oh shit. Things are really starting to pick up. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Ooh, ooh, that maybe... Zumasu must have used the Super Dragon Balls to create some kind of replica, or maybe he used his partner, now, Gamarasu, I think his name is, maybe he used him, and maybe he is Goku Black, because think about it, think about it, think about it. The outfit thing that he wears is sort of similar to Black, so it's a big, big possibility that this dude is probably somehow the one that actually is the ultimate 
black. Like, maybe the Super Dragon Balls made him black and made him, like, the same, like, the replicant of, you know, Goku's face and blah, blah, blah to change everything to make Goku the evil one. You know, shit like that. So I think that's probably the, the key thing. I, I'm assuming that this could be, it's probably not him. Maybe he used the Super Dragon Balls to actually create not himself as as a black but probably he created black with the super dragon balls or maybe it's like a piccolo slash majin buu thing how like zumasu was like i guess the good half and then he got these evil intentions you know like kami did where he got some of those evil jealous attentions and he created piccolo and majin buu was the same way so maybe this could be like a piccolo and majin buu scenario where he has a, an evil form that's separated out of him when he used the Super Dragon Balls to create his, like, a persona of himself, pretty much, except as Goku. And maybe that's my other guess, too, as I would be coming. But we'll see what it goes down. From the preview, it looks like he succeeded. It looks like he did something. Maybe, I don't know if he killed the one all, not, not the king of all, but I forget his name. Shit, I forget the dude's name. We saw him, like, way back ago. Him, I mean, unless he's going to die tonight. I mean, if he dies tonight, and that sucks, but we don't know. So if he dies, he dies. I mean, I, I'm guessing he must have did something drastic. Because it looks like from the preview, he fucking has the big-ass giant. Dude, that dragon, yo, is fucking huge, man. He is huge. Very huge dragon. So to get this motherfucker to get summoned, he must have found some kind of way to get the code. Because you have to speak. I think he does know. Well, actually, no correction. He might know the god language. So maybe. Because I do remember from the last arc, you had to use the god language in order to actually talk to the dragon itself. So, yeah. So I think he knows that. So he must have summoned him. So anyways, 5 out of 5 quality episode. This is like one of my favorite episodes of Dragon Ball Super of this arc. Definitely the fight was very, very well done. Black is becoming impressive. Even if he's pink. Super Saiyan Rose, whatever, he's still awesome regardless. The, the lightsaber man looks like something from, like, fucking Halo or some shit. Was actually pretty cool. And then, of course, we get a sword, too. Yo, Zumasu's a beast, man. Zumasu is a fucking... And I love the Kamehameha wave. Yeah, we know. It's a staple. It's the Kamehameha wave. Now, like, how the fuck does this dude know the Kamehameha wave? Again, he must have known more about Goku and got his information to create him. Like, some Dr. Zero shit for, like, Cell. It's a possibility, too, because this is insane. And I like the Kamehameha Wave, too. It was, like, all pink and black. And I imagine something from, like, GT that, like, Baby did or something like that. That was cool as well. So, anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comment section below of this episode of Dragon Ball Super. And I will see you guys next week. Um, probably on time. Hopefully on time. We'll see. Probably. But we'll see what happens. Of uh, Dragon Ball Super episode 58. And I'll catch you guys there. This is the Ninja Reviewer signing out saying peace. Soul, love, chicken grease, and the sky is the limit. And my manga fans keep supporting what you read and what you watch. And yeah, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.